recently I put out a tweet thread on Twitter and it got over 140,000 views. And for someone who had about two and a half thousand followers on Twitter, that's not so bad. But what if I told you that I generated that tweet thread using chat GPT? I wanted to make this video to share with you guys how I genuinely use ChatGPT to speed up so much time in all of my different ventures, businesses, jobs, and so on and so forth. So if you don't know, my name is Faisal. I run marketing at Tertil, a AI app with over 5 million downloads. And I also run Freshly Grounded, which is my podcast with over 15 million downloads and streams combined. A lot of people use ChatGPT to help with code and stuff like that. For me, the main use has been with copy. So generating pieces of text really fast. And so to give you guys an example, usually if I was, for example, creating a landing page for a course that I was doing, it could take me at a good speed, a few hours uh, on average, maybe a couple days to segment time to write the copy for that landing page. But recently I launched a seminar and I generated all of that copy using ChatGPT in minutes. So it's literally saving so much time. And I'm going to teach you guys today the top five ways that I utilize ChatGPT for copy related tasks. Okay, so let's get cracking. So number one, asking ChatGPT to summarize your notes. Often when I'm, for example, reviewing a video, video or basically doing anything, I constantly have the notes app open and I'm just like smashing my notes into it. So writing really colloquially, writing fast, using acronyms, typing as if I would like you're sending a message to one of your friends, right? Like you're not typing it for like a professional setting. So you're using like the letter U instead of the word U and stuff like that. And it's all bullet point form. However, sometimes I need to send those notes to individuals or like, for example, my video editor. So to summarize my notes, what I would do is I would first of all give ChatGPT some context. And in this case, the context I would write is is I'm reviewing a video that my editor has edited, I guess. Summarize the below bullet points in an easy to read manner. And then I'll just copy and paste the bullet points that I already have written over on notes. And the goal here is that I don't have to put much effort into like punctuation, words, like anything like that. I can just like throw in exactly what I'm thinking to chat GBT and it can give me something that I can actually like articulate to an actual team member or someone even in any kind of like professional setting, right? So the notes I have here is, Video is good, but it needs some small adjustments. Begin the video in a more punchy way. Make sure that there are graphics on the screen. I've purposely written GFX instead of graphics to show you guys. Hopefully, ChatGPT will be able to convert that into the word graphics and understands what I'm saying. Video is too long. Cut out the bit when I go off on a tangent. Delete the awkward silences. Blur out my password. And then at the end, I've said, great job. Once it's done, just ping me a message on WhatsApp. Again, I've written MSG so I can download it and post. Enter. Let's see what it turns out. Great. So already it looks <laughs> much more impressive and like sendable. So it's written, this video is generally impressive. However, it could use a few minor tweaks. To begin with, consider making the start more impactful, perhaps with the addition of some engaging graphics. The overall length could be trimmed, especially where I veer off topic. Please eliminate any awkward pauses to ensure smooth continuity. On completion of these revisions, please drop me a message on WhatsApp so I can download it for posting. Good work so far, and thanks for your attention to these details. Great. That's literally what I wanted. I could just send that over. It might be a situation where I want those in bullet points though, because personally, I would still send them in bullet points. I would just want them written nicer. So then I can go back to ChatGPT and say, keep the format in that of bullet points, brackets outside of the initial intro and the outro. Let's see what it does. So overall, the video is well crafted, but there are some tweaks we should consider. Initiate the video in a more dynamic manner. And obviously it's like basically written them out again nicely for me, but the bullet point format, which is what I prefer to send to my editor. So that's number one, summarizing your notes or turning your notes into something that can actually be like sendable. Number two then is similar, but the second way I use ChatGPT often is by asking it to reword something in a more articulate way. So similar to what we did. So for example, with Tartil, I'll have to submit marketing reviews on a monthly basis. And that's where I'm kind of breaking down our activations, how things went and stuff like that. And that needs to be a bit more kind of for report setting, right? So let's give an example of what I would do there. So let's open up a new chat. And the prompt I use here always is the same. I say reword the following in a a more articulate way where necessary, colon. And then I'll paste in like my thoughts. So this won't necessarily be notes, but it'll be like, okay, let's make up a scenario. Let's say for example, in this month, we noticed we've had a lot of downloads in Quebec, Canada, despite us not putting out any ads in Canada. And we realized that the reason for that is that we've been putting out French ads and in Quebec, the majority spoken language is French. And so organically, a lot of those ads end up being shared with French speaking people in Canada. And then our sales boosted in Canada. And so therefore the conclusion is we have 
have a great market in Canada, we should actually start putting some marketing activation budget towards Canada. So I would write it like that in ChatGPT and say to it, like articulate this in a better way for a report. So I pasted that into ChatGPT. Cool. Again, already looks better. So upon conducting an analysis of our marketing efforts for May, I made a quite compelling discovery. Interestingly, our sales in Quebec, Canada experienced a substantial surge despite the absence of targeted paid advertising in that region. Upon further investigation, it appears that the primary factor contributing to this unexpected growth is the predominance of French speakers in Quebec who responded to our French language marketing initiatives. This realization suggests a potential strategy for enhancing our marketing effectiveness, colon, focusing on tailoring our activations on specific languages rather than solely regional locations. Again, this is kind of similar to the first point, which is essentially dump your thoughts in there, give it a prompt, tell it what you're using it for, give it as much context as you can. I'm using this for a marketing report or I'm using this in an email or I need to give some feedback to a team member and then just paste it in and it just saves you a bunch of time. It saves you typing time because you're not trying to have the correct grammar, spelling, capitalization and sentence structure and it saves you going back on it and essentially like rewording your thinking about how to best articulate something for the person that is going to. Point number three. Thalatha. Twa. Ein drei trai. Is it trai? I think that's wrong. Tres. How to say three in German. Null eins zwei. I got it so wrong. Anyway, point number three. Asking chat GPT to explain concepts in you. Concepts. <laughs> Asking chat GPT to explain concepts to you in simple terms. We're simple people. I am anyway. This one pretty much speaks for itself. Let's, let's, let's jump in. Let's dive in. Cool. So I'm going to say to it, let's say for example, I'm having a conversation and someone mentions a word. I'm like, hey, I don't understand it. No problem. GPT. Yeah. Let's let's say EBITDA, 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 right? So we'll say, um, explain EBITDA to me like I'm... And what I found is that it actually changes. Like you, you can say like I'm five, which is obviously the common thing that from the Reddit posts and stuff, like people often say, explain to me like I'm five. But really it just means explain it to me in simple terms. With GPT, you can actually specify an age and it will change the description, right? Which is really cool. So I think this one will go with like 10, right? So explain EBITDA like I'm 10 years old. All right, let's imagine you have a lemonade stand. You sell lemonade to people in your neighborhood to do this you need to spend money on a few things so firstly lemon sugar and water to make the lemonade secondly cops for serving the lemonade and thirdly maybe you pay your little sister to help you serve the customers now let's say you make $50 in a day from selling your lemonade but remember you had to spend some money to make the lemonade let's say you spent $20 on lemon sugar water and helping your sister cost $10 so you actually spent $30 now if you subtract 30 from the 50 you made you get $20 all right so then I said to chat GPT I was like so is EBITDA the money made after those costs in the above case the EBITDA would be the $20 or would it be $50? I just want to clarify. So they're like, great question. In our lemonade stand, the $20 is more akin to net profit, which is what you're left with after subtracting all costs. Blah, 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 explains it. And then it says, in this case, your EBITDA will be $20. Great. Another thing I found with ChatGPT is you can ask it to do things in, you can kind of give it lengths. So with something like this, you could say, great, explain it again, but in half the length. <laughs> And it'll just make it short and even easier for you to understand. There you go. It's like shortened all the uh, descriptions. It's made it even easier. By the way, you can do that with the summaries as well. So with, for example, the marketing stuff, when we did the marketing thing about Canada and the French language, we can go back to it and say, explain the above in two sentences. If we just had to quickly get it done. Let's say, upon examining our marketing performance in May, we noticed a, signific a significant surge in sales in Quebec, Canada, despite not tar no targeted advertising due to the, due to the resonance of our French language campaigns with a prominence that is just wordy, man. I'm going to say make it less wordy. Here you go. Our French marketing campaigns boosted Quebec sales in May, despite no targeted ads. This suggests tailoring campaigns to languages, not just regions, could be beneficial. Perfect. <laughs> and that could literally be the TLDR at the top of your report. And then you can give this explanation. So anyway, go back to our points. But just before we get into this next point, I want to pause and ask you guys, if you're not a subscriber of this channel, please hit subscribe and click like on this video. It's really important because I've had this channel for years but i've only just started re-uploading on it so i'm gonna need your guys' help to really jump start this channel again this is your message to say hit subscribe if you haven't already and let's get back to the next point let's go to point number four Point number four is repurposing content. This is what we used for the tweet that got over 140,000 views. So what I did is I went to my newsletter. So I wrote 
out a article in my newsletter. It was called One Year Since Moving to Dubai. Here's what I learned. And I threw that into ChatGPT and I asked it to turn into a Twitter thread. Let's do that live and in action. So we'll go to this one. So I called this three evening side hustle ideas to boost your bank balance. Let's just copy it in. So essentially repurposing content means to take a piece of content that you've already created. Normally we talk about this in video form. So create a podcast, you repurpose it into a reel and then it's a new piece of content that you can basically put out. And often the reels get more views than the podcasts. You can also do that with writing. So turn the following blog article into a tweet thread, colon, paste, done. And have a look at this. There you go. It writes the tweets out for you. Now, often with ChatGPT, you do have to edit a lot of the stuff. Like, I don't like using hashtags in my tweets and stuff like that. So you do have to edit them. But look at that. The majority of the work is done for me. Great. Tip number five, the final tip that I'm going to be giving is giving something a theme or a tone. I've been working on a new kind of like side Saturday night hustle and it's essentially a project that is kind of like an exclusive club. And so we want, I want to say an exclusive club, it's like an exclusive uh, community online. And so what we want to do is we want to frame our copy and our messaging in this, in this community to be a bit, to have like this exclusive tone, to sound cool, almost like a secret, almost like James Bond esque like have that kind of vibe right like and so that's the prompt that i gave it so let's try that now so let's say for example we want to write a welcome email to our community so we'll say reword the following welcome email giving it a james bond-esque uh, secret service tone to make it uh, seem more exclusive so now we'll write the email so we'll say hey everyone welcome to the community you've just joined the most exclusive online community in the world. Remember, everything we share will be exclusive, on trend, and perfectly curated for you. Here's some of the things you can expect. Bullet point, exclusive news about business. I don't know. Tips and hacks on saving money. How to network your way to the top. How to be more likable. <laughs> Remember to invite your nearest and dearest to join the community if you want them to be part of the gang. See you on the next email all right so that's what i wrote i just wrote that how long did that take me to write like maybe like two minutes right and uh let's see what it comes up with so here you go greetings agent you successfully infiltrated our clandestine network the world's premier confidential online collective so this is a bit much right but like you could definitely take from this and then edit it up reword with the same theme but tone it down a touch here you go greetings congratulations you've crossed the threshold in an extraordinary online society recognized as the world's most selective collective we've handpicked you for this exclusive opportunity and we're thrilled to have you on board yeah this is more like it Let's Let's say, for example, we say uh, reword it with a mafia tone. This should be cool. Hey there, you've made it. You're in. Welcome to the world's most guarded secret, our exclusive online family. Okay, this, I'm liking this. This is good. You ain't just another face in the crowd anymore. You're part of us now. Everything that's about to come your way is straight from the top. It's the best. It's on point and it's made just for you. Here's a scoop on what you're getting into. The inside track on business, the good, the bad, the ugly. Remember, we're a tight knit crew. If you've got any pals you trust, bring them in. We take care of our own. <laughs> Till the next message, keep it under your hat. It's perfect. What great uh, way of doing it. So yeah, tone, fun tones, or like you can just like put in a message and say, this feels like too serious. Can we make it more fun? But um, yeah, so that's the five ways I'm currently using ChatGPT uh, specifically for copy. Uh, I hope that's helped you guys. I hope that will save you guys lots of time. And uh, if you want to subscribe to my newsletter, you can head to newsletter.freshlyguided.com. Other than that, guys, please do hit subscribe and share the video because I'm going to be dropping hopefully a lot more content like this to you guys. And with that being said, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.